Hello, and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. Today we'll be looking at the corporation tax module within tax return production. Let's use the same company example, Cloud Adaptive Systems, and bring their data into our corporation tax software. We'll show you how to create a new CT600 tax return using simple step mode. Then we'll finalize the tax return using our validation tool, check and finish, and show you how to print. Once you have prepared the final accounts in Accounts Production, you'll be ready to go to the Corporation Tax Return. See the cog icon in the top right? Click on that and select Open in Tax Return Production. We need to create a new return for the latest year, year end to March 20. Click on New Return, then Create. Then open the selected return. We're ready to begin. As this is a new return, we're asked which mode we'd like to use. TaxCalc recommends SimpleStep. SimpleStep is a questionnaire-based tool to let the TaxCalc software do most of the work to assist you filling in the return. This is one of the many unique and brilliant features of TaxCalc. Simply follow the instructions on screen. You'll see that most of the information has already been pulled over from Practice Manager. Now click Next Step. If the company's a property business, then tick Yes. If not, click Next Step. This company is not a property business, so we'll proceed. Using the Accounts and Computations feature, we can import the accounts production information into the tax return. You'll find key information here such as turnover, profit, depreciation and more. This screen also allows you to input your trading dates, which will adjust the figures based on the number of days in the accounting period and a portion based on this. We can dynamically change the values required for importation on the return. Let's amend the Profit Loss on Disposal of Assets value and click Import. Here you will see we bring in the required information and a tax liability is generated based on what we've imported. CT600 Core sets the trade up for us. If you need to input anything else, such as capital gains or other income, tick the appropriate boxes. If not, keep clicking Next Step. Now the information has come across into trade and professional income, we can adjust the profits. Again, follow the instructions. You have selected to enter information via the Tax Computation Worksheet. Please click on the wizard icon next to box 155 to enter that information. In the Tax Adjusted Profit Loss Worksheet section, we can enter disallowables, addbacks and other information. We can enter capital allowances at this line here. Clicking on the Capital Allowances wizard opens the entries. By default, it brings across any written down values from last year. You can see a laptop has been brought forward. If there's something else in the accounts that's new and needs to be added in, a new asset or some general pool, we can add it in here. Select the type of asset, add a description, date of acquisition and initial cost, click close and it's added to your list of entries. Once you've added to your list of initial entries, click Next. This brings you to the Capital Allowances calculation grid. Again, make your final adjustments. There are other areas such as loss handling, utilisation of those losses and so on. Just follow it through. If you need to come to any supplementary pages, you'll come to that as you go through the next steps. You'll see all the categories from loans to participators all the way down to restitution tax. A tax computation is created automatically and tagged in IXBRL. There's nothing you need to do to get that ready. As you can see, an adjusted profit calculation is made here. If you wish to add any further notes, you should click on Edit Notes and proceed with the relevant entries. When you're ready, click Check and Finish. This will validate any entries which have been omitted or may need to be checked. Note the orange messages. This means the software is asking you to resolve these issues. In this case, it's showing that a set of accounts needs to be attached. Click on the link and select Add Accounts. As we've already prepared these accounts in Accounts Production, we'll select Attach from Accounts Production, select an accounting period, and click Attach. That's now attached to the return. You can also attach from a third-party source. The check and review your return green messages are for consideration and won't affect online filing. The second message shows your client has assets that qualify for the annual investment allowance but haven't claimed. 
If your client does wish to claim AIA, you can do so here. Once the return is complete, you may wish to print a copy. Just select Print. There are many ways to customise the printing options should you wish to adjust them. The first page of the printout is a cover page for your client to sign and accept the return. Then there's the return itself. In this example, we haven't attached the tax computation. That can be included as part of the one PDF document. Finally, we are going to post the tax journal back into the accounts. Here you will see a post tax journal option. Click here, then click the post journal button. Select the relevant accounting period and click post. Then click post and close. That's it. We have completed our accounts and corporation tax for the client this year. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.